We are seeing the word of God from the book of Daniel. Tutaliona neno la Bwana kutoka kitabu cha Danieli. We shall read from the book of Daniel chapter 3. Tutaona kutoka kitabu cha Danieli mlango wa 3 and we can start from verse 16. Na tutaanza aya ya 16. Daniel chapter 3. Danieli 3. We can start from verse 16. Na tutaanza kutoka aya ya 16. You can read it in your uh, uh, in your own time. Waweza isoma kwa wakati wako. The whole chapter of Daniel chapter 3. Mlango wote wa Danieli 3. But because of time, lakini sababu ya muda, we shall start from verse 16. Tutaanza aya 16. And God is going to speak to us. Na Mungu ataenda kunena nasi. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. And the title of my message this morning, kichwa cha ujumbe wangu asubuhi ya leo, is that God pays attention to us ni kwamba Mungu anatupea makini yake when we trust in him wakati tutapomwamini praise the name of the lord jina la Bwana lisifiwe god pays attention Mungu anatupea makini yake when we trust in him wakati ambapo tunapomwamini and when we, do, we don't doubt him na wakati hatuna shaka na yeye praise the name of the lord jina la Bwana lisifiwe you yeah, i have been looking at, at the word of god nimekuwa nikitazama neno la Bwana and i have been seeing na pia nimekuwa nikiona that uh, Jesus rebuked men, uh, his disciples many times. Kwamba Yesu aliwakemea wanafunzi wake mara nyingi. When they lacked faith. Wakati walikosa imani. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, when Jesus was staying together with his, his disciples, wakati Yesu aliishi na wanafunzi wake, many are the times that he rebuked them. Wakati ni mwingi sana aliyowakemea. But if you look at the rebuke that Jesus gave unto them, lakini ukitazama zisa vilivyowakemea, it is when they lacked faith. Ni wakati walikosa imani. And a good example is when they were in a boat. Na mfano mzuri ni wakati walikuwa katika meli kabu in the sea of Galilee. Katika ziwa Galilee. And the Bible says that there, that there were waves in the sea. Na maandiko yanasema kulikuwa na mawimbi ziwani. And the disciples were crying. Na wanafunzi waliitana. And they were telling Jesus because Jesus was sleeping. Waliuliza Yesu kwa sababu alikuwa amelala. And they were they were asking him. Walikuwa namuuliza. Don't you care? Je, haujali that we are perishing? Kwamba sisi tuenda kuangamia. But when Jesus woke up, lakini wakati Yesu aliamka and he rebuked the, wave, the, the waves and the, the wind akakemea mawimbi and the sea was calm now ziwa likatulia after that he was rebuking his disciples baada ya hayo aliwakemea wanafunzi wake for lack of uh, of belief kwa ajili ya kukosa kuamini praise the name of the lord jina la bwana so it is a very key thing in believing and trusting in god kwa hivyo ni jambo la muhimu sana kuamini na kuliamini neno la bwana when we trust in him wakati ambapo tunapomwamini without any doubt bila shaka yoyote is the name of the Lord. And now we, we shall we, we I want us to read the, the, the word from the book of Daniel. And we are reading from verse 16. And the Bible says Maneke anasema hivi. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hand O king but if not let it be known to you O king that we do not serve your gods nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury and the expression of his face changed toward Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego he spoke and commanded that they hit the furnace seven times more than it was it, it, it was usually heated and he commanded certain mighty men of valor who were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace Then these men were bowed in their coats, their trousers, their turbans, and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bowed in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. 
Then the king then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished as he rose in haste and spoke saying to his counselors did we not cast three men bound in the midst of fire they answered and said to, to, to the king true O king look he answered I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt and the form of the fourth of the fourth is like the son of God then Nebuchadnezzar went near the mouth of the burning furnace and spoke saying Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego servants of the most high God come out and come here then Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego came from the midst of the fire and you can say Mahavi Daniel 3.16 Lipo Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego wakajibu wakamwambia mfalme Ene kaneza hamna haja kukujibu katika neno hili Kama hivyo mungu wetu tunaye mtumikia Aweza kutuokoa na tunuru ile iwakayo moto Na e atatuokoa na mkono wako e mfalme Bali kama si hivyo ujue e mfalme Ya kuwa sisi hatu takubali kuitumikia miungu yako Wala kusitudia hiyo sanamu ya dhahabu ulio isimamisha Ipo nebukadneza akajaga dhabu na sula ya uso wake Ikabadrika juu ya shadraka na mesheki na abenego Basi akatawa amli watie moto ile tanuru mara saba kuliko destuli yake kutiwa moto Kisha akawamuru baadhi ya watu mashujaa Wajeshi lake kuwafunga shadraka mesheki na abenego Na kuwatupa katika ile tanuru ilio waka ikiwaka moto basi watu hao wakafungwa hali wamevaa suruari zao na kanzu zao na joho zao na mavazi yao mengine wakatupwa katika ile tanuru iliyowaka iliyokuwa ikiwaka moto basi kwa sababu amli ya mfalme ilikuwa ni kali na ile tanuru ilikuwa ina moto sana mwako wa ule moto ukawaua wale watu walio washika shadraka na mesheki na benego na watu hawa watatu Shadraka na Mesheki na Abednego wakaanguka hali wamefungwa katika katikati ya ile tanuri iliyokuwa inawaka moto. Ndipo Nebukadneza Ndipo Nebukadneza akastajabu akainuka kwa haraka na kanena akawaambia aka mawaziri wake, "Je, hatukutupa watu watatu hali wamefungwa katikati ya uh, wamefungwa katikati ya moto?" Wakajibu wakamwambia mfalme kweli e mfalme akajibu akasema tazama mimi naona watu wanne nao wamefunguliwa wanatembea katikati ya moto hali wa hawana dhara na sula yake yule wanne ni mfano wa miungu ni mfano wa mwana wa miungu kisha nebukadneza akakaribia mdomo wa ile tanuru iliyowekwa inawaka moto akanena akasema enyi shadraka na mesheki na abednego Watumishi wa Mungu aliye juu tokeni mje huku lipo Shadraka na Mesheki na Abednego wakatoka katika ule moto Amen Amen So this morning I want to continue with this message Asubia leo napenda niendelee na ujumbe huu And uh, as we continue to look at what God uh, is able to do Na tunapoendelea kutazama kile ambacho Mungu anaweza kukifanya This morning we are we are focusing on what God is able to do Asubia leo tutazama kile Mungu anaweza kukifanya When we try in him wakati ambapo tunapomwamini praise the name of the lord jina la bwana alisifiwe when you trust in jesus unapomwamini yesu uh, there are things that he is able to do kuna mambo ambayo anaweza kuyafanya now we are looking at this story tunatazamia historia hii and it is not just a story na si historia pekee you know the bible is is full of stories unajua maandiko yamejaa historia but these are real things that were happening lakini haya ni mambo halali aliyofanyika so don't think that this this is just a story kwa hivyo usifikire kwamba hii ni historia that was given there was a king that is that was called Nebuchadnezzar and there were these three gentlemen called Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and they were living just as we are living today so this is not just a story it is a real life experience praise the name of the Lord and this morning 
I want to share what God can do. Na subia leo napenda tushiriki kile ambacho Mungu anaweza kukifanya. When we trust in him. Wakati tunapomwamini. Entirely. Na tunapomwamini kweli kweli. Praise the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. You know sometimes we we trust in God. Kwa hivyo wako unajua kwa wakati mwingine tunaweza muamini Mungu. But we look for other ways and other means. Lakini tunatafuta njia zingine. To sustain us. Ya kuweza kujiweka. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. But there comes a time. Lakini kuna wakati unaokuja. When we need to trust God. Ambapo tunahitaji kumwamini Mungu. And we we trust him in his entire power. Na tuweze kumwamini kwa njia zake kuu. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. Now we are reading from the Bible. Tunasoma kutoka kwa maandiko. This is the king King Nebuchadnezzar. Oni mfalme Nebuchadnezzar. And he was he he, uh, he he was the ruler at the, at the time. Na yeye alikuwa ni mfalme wakati ule. And it was the time that he, uh, uh, has already taken place. Na wakati ambao ulikuwa unaendelea. Then the Israelites were were deported or they were taken captives. Na wakati ambapo wanaisraeli walishikwa mateka. In Babylon. Katika kule Babylon. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. We know what normally happened. Unajua kile kinachofanyika. When Israelites disobeyed God. Wakati wanaisraeli wanakosa kumtii Mungu. God could let them to their enemies. Mungu aliwaelekeza kwa adui zao. So it is during this incidents. Ni katika nyakati zile that uh, the Israelites had disobeyed God. Wakati ambapo wanaisraeli walikosa kumtii Mungu. And they had worshiped idols. Na waliweza kuinamia sanamu. And God God let them in in the hands of the uh, in, in the in the hands of these people uh, King Nebuchadnezzar. Mungu aliwaachilia kwa mikono ya Nebuchadnezzar. And he took them to Babylon. Na aliweza kuwapeleka Babylon. And he took them as slaves. Na aliwachukua mateka. He took them as uh, as as captives. Na aliwachukua wakiwa mateka. Among those people who were taken. Kati ya watu wale waliochukuliwa. One of them was Daniel. Mmoja wao alikuwa ni Daniel. And the other one was Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Wengine alikuwa ni Shadrach na Abednego. And they they had the, the they they had their hebrews names na walikuwa na majina ya kiebrania but they were their names were later changed na majina yao baadaye yalibadilishwa praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe but what i want you to understand kile napenda tufahamu is daniel is already a captive ni kwamba daniel sasa akiwa mteka and he has his, his three friends na kuna rafiki zake wawili praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe na now it is after daniel had uh, had told about uh, uh, had revealed about the 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 dream to ni, the king ni baada ya Daniel alifumbua sili kwa mfalme and Daniel was promoted na Daniel akaweza kupewa cheo and after he was promoted na baada ya kupewa cheo he was given a high position alikuwa na cheo cha juu and he remembered his friends na akawakumbuka rafiki zake praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe and this can also teach us something na hii inaweza tufunza jambo fulani when you are elevated wakati ambapo unapoinuliwa when you are promoted to a certain place wakati umekuzwa kwa kiwango fulani it is good to remember others ni vyema kuwakumbuka wengine when Daniel was promoted. Wakati Daniel alipoinuliwa, uh, and he had he held a high position in the land. Na akakuwa na kiti cha juu katika mji ule. He spoke well of his friends. Alinena mazuri kuhusu rafiki zake. And that is Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Na hao ni Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. And Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. They were also given positions in the government. Pia wao walipewa cheo katika serikali. And this is what also God can do. Na hivi ndivyo pia Mungu anaweza fanya. It doesn't matter whether Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego together with Daniel. Haijalishi pale Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego pamoja na Daniel. They were captives. Walikuwa ni mateka. They were they were not in their own land. Hawakuwa katika mchi wao. But if, even though they were they were captives, na ingawa walikuwa ni mateka, the king saw them. Mfalme aliwaona. And it pleased him. Na ikamfurahisha. So that he may put them in in the place of power. Ili akaweze kuwaweka katika hali ya serikali. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. And we can also read something and study some You see Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They knew about the God of heaven. It is only the God of heaven whom they could bow to. It is only the God of heaven they could worship. Praise the name of the Lord. And even though they were they, they were taken in, in the king's palace they honored God lakini walimheshimu Mungu even more than the king hata zaidi kuliko mfalme praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe and we can see this as we read the bible na tunaweza kusoma hii katika maandiko because the king was an idol worshiper kwa sababu mfalme alikuwa mwabudu sana king nebuchadnezzar mfalme nebuchadnezzar was a, an idol worshiper yeye alikuwa mwabudu sana and the bible has told us maandiko yameweza kutujulisha that he made a, an image kwamba aliweza kutengeneza sanamu an image that was very tall sanamu ile 
mrefu sana. If you read in the in the in, in, in Daniel chapter 3. Ukisoma katika Danieli 3 and verse 1. Ah kutoka aya kwanza. You see the image that King King Nebuchadnezzar had had made. Utaona sanamu ambayo mfalme Nebuchadnezzar alitengeneza. It was 60 cubits. Ilikuwa upana wa dhila 60 in height katika ulefu and also in in width na katika upana praise the name of the lord so nisitiwe. it was a, a very tall image kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni sanamu mrefu sana it could be seen when people are far ingeonekana mtu akiwa mbali and after he made this image na baada ya kutengeneza sanamu hii and he erected it somewhere that was in a center place na kaweza kuweka pale ambapo palikuwa ni katikati then the bible says that he called all his officials maandiko yanasema kwamba aliaita wakuu wake wote if it, it is today kama ni siku ya leo we can say maybe for a, like a, a, like our president tungesema vile kwa mfano kama mfalme wetu and he he calls he calls every every official Ange, in the in the government angeeta kuita watu wa kuku katika serikali he calls the, the governors angewaita wa governor praise the name of the lord jina la bwana he calls the mps angewaita wa bunge he calls the M- mcas angewaita wa mca he calls the senators angewaita senators he calls the chiefs angewaita wa kuku praise the name of the lord jina la bwana and the bible says he also called the magistrates na maandiko yanasema kwamba aliwaita pia wenye sheria so the bible says the king nebuchadnezzar na maandiko yanasema kwamba mfalme nebuchadnezzar he erected this this image baada ya kuleta sanamu hii he called every official in the land aliwaita wakuu wote katika nchi administrators wale walio katika hali ya uongozi magavana councillors wale wa councillors treasurers na wale wanaoweka hazina judges wale wanao sheria magistrates wale wakuu wa sheria and all officials of the of the province na wakuu wote katika mikoa and he called them na aliwaita so that they may come for the dedication ile wangekuja na ili wakaweze kuweka praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe and you may wonder je yeah, unaweza shangaa you, you know king king nebuchadnezzar unajua mfalme nebuchadnezzar is an idol worshiper ye yeah, ni mabudu sanamu and he has he has made an image na ametengeneza sanamu but as as he is erecting this image na anapoileta sanamu hii he does he doesn't just erect it just anyhow le yeah he erect it hivyo kwa njia iliyo hivyo tu he erect the, the image baada ya kuleta sanamu hiyo he is calling every official ana, in the land anamuita kila mkuu katika nchi he is not calling everybody haiti kila mtu but he is calling the officials lakini anaita wakuu this is because hii ni sababu he, he wanted that image to, to be worshiped alipenda sanamu hii kaweza kuabudiwa praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe it was a service na ilikuwa ni ibada we can say it was a a, a, a demonic service na tunaweza sema kwamba ilikuwa ni ibada ya ya shetani the, the, the demonic service of dedication ibada ya sanamu ambayo ilikuwa sasa iwekwe dedication of the image ikaweze kuwekwa katika ile sanamu why do, uh, do they dedicate this image kwa nini waliweza kuiweka pale you know any image that is being worshiped unajua kila sanamu ambayo inayoabudiwa there is a spirit behind kuna roho ambayo inayofuata so in other words kwa maneno mengine when king when the king was erecting this image wakati mfalme alikuwa anaweka ile sanamu and when he was calling all officials for the dedication service na alipokuwa kiwaita wakuu wote He wanted to invoke alipenda kwamba azushe the evil spirit kuzusha kuleta ile roho mbaya upon those, that image kwa kuweka katika ile sanamu so that it may control the land ili kaweze kuongoza nchi praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe now he called every official aliwaita kila wakuu and they all came na wote waliweza kuja praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe and the, there was a decree that was made na kulikuwa na tangazo ambayo iliyotangazwa that when the the, 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 the sound the, the instrument sound sounded kwamba wakati ambapo uh, zile vifaa zinapoleta sauti all people were to bow down watu wote wangeweza kuinama and so uh, as we read from the scripture na tunaposoma kutoka kwa maandiko every person was in, uh, informed kila mtu aliweza kujulishwa there is a dedication service going on kuna ibada ambayo inayoendelea it is the, the dedication of the image kuna kuna ibada ya sanamu and as, as as that dedication is going on na wakati ambapo hiyo ibada inapoendelea every person kila mtu 
when he hears the voice of the of, of the trumpet everybody should bow praise the name of the lord now it reached shadrach meshach and and, and abednego in our letter shadrach meshach and abednego and you see shadrach meshach and abednego na unaona shadrach meshach and abednego they are some of the officials ni wao ni kati ya wakuu because we have said kwa sababu tumesema already Daniel had brought them kwamba Daniel aliweza kuwaleta Daniel had spoke well to them uh, concerning uh, uh, concerning them to the king Daniel alinena mazuri kwa kuwahusu kwa mfalme and Shadrach Meshach and Abednego na Shadrach Meshach na Abednego they already got a job wao walikuwa wamekwisha kupata kazi in the government katika ile serikali they already had position walikuwa na vitio praise the name of the lord tena bwana receive the bible is saying na maandiko yanasema although they had a job wao walikuwa na kazi maybe the job was well paying labda kazi ile ililipa vizuri but they knew lakini walijua they can only worship the god of heaven waweza tu kumabudu mungu wa mbinguni they can never bow to any other god hawataweza kumuinamia miungu mingine yote praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisikie and as we have read from the bible na kama jinsi tumesoma kutoka kwa maandiko when the trumpet sounded wakati talubenta zilitelsa sauti during the dedication service katika ile ibada ya kubariki sanamu ile of this idol katika ile sanamu everybody bowed down kila mmoja alinama chini but they noted lakini walitambua as everybody was bowing down kama kila mtu alipokuwa kiinama and they were bowing down na walikuwa na inama because they were worshipers of, of the idols kwa sababu walikuwa waabudu wa sanamu so they didn't have any problem kwa hivyo hawakuwa na shida yoyote with worshiping the idols kwa kumwabudu ule sanamu but daniel but shadrach meshach and abednego lakini shadrach meshach na abednego they could not worship this idol hawangeabudu ile sanamu so when the trumpet sounded kwa hivyo wakati sauti ya vyombo ilipolia everybody had bowed kila mmoja aliweza kuinama but they noticed lakini walitambua Shadrach Meshach and Abednego kwa Shadrach Meshach na Abednego all of them they are standing straight wao wote wamesimama imara praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe maybe they thought labda walifikiria that they had not heard kwamba hawakusikia maybe they went to them labda walienda kwao and they told them na wakawaambia we see that you are visitors in this land nyinyi tunaona nyinyi ni wageni nchi hii we see you are foreigners nyinyi tunaona nyinyi ni watu wa nchi geni and we can see that you don't know the laws of this land na tunaona nyinyi hamfahamu sheria za nchi hii and they could explain to them na ngewaelezea the reason why why you should bow sababu gani hatufatu iname it is because this is the order from the the, the highest person in the land ni kwa sababu hii ni amri kutoka kwa mtu aliyemkusa na katika nchi it is the order from the king ni amri kutoka kwa mfalme and it is, it must be obeyed. Na lazima iheshimiwe. They try, maybe they try to explain to them. Walijaribu kwa njia zote kuelezea. But Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Lakini Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. They could not they, they could not listen to that. Hawangewasikiza kamwe. So the Bible says. Maandiko yanasema hivi. They went to the king. Walienda kwa mfalme. And they accused Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Na walikuwa Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. And they are telling they, they are telling the king. Na wanamwambia mfalme. They are these Jews who came, Hebrews who came. Kuna hawa waibrania waliokuja. They came uh, they came together with, with others uh, as captives. Walikuja nasi kama mateka. But uh, they have found their way. Lakini wamepata njia zao. Already they are officials in the government. Sasa wamekuwa wakuu katika serikali. But they are not bowing to your to your dec- to, to your order. Lakini wao hawabudu kwa amri yako. And the king became angry. Na mfalme akakadhabika. The Bible says Maandiko yanasema that he called for Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Kwamba aliwaita Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. And he tried to explain. Na li- alibu kuwaelezea maybe he, he, he explained bet, better than those people who were explaining to to them labda angewaelezea vizuri kuliko wale waliotangulia kuelezea and maybe he told them na labda aliwaelezea this is the order hii ndio amri and king's order must be obeyed na amri ya mfalme lazima iheshimiwe when they came to the king walipokuja kwa mfalme the king asked ask them mfalme aliwauliza i am hearing you shadrach meshach and abednego nimesikia nyinyi watatu shadrach meshach na abednego i am hearing that you are not bowing to the image that Ni, I have already uh, prepared. Ninasikia hamuinami kwa ile sanamu ambayo nimeitengeneza. And this is the law from the king. Na hii ndio sheria kutoka kwa mfalme. And this, this law cannot be broken. Na hii sheria haifai kuvunjwa. Is it true that you are not bowing? Je, huo ni ukweli kwamba hamuheshimu? And he is telling them. Na anawaambia. If you you if if you had not understood for the first time. Kama hamukuelewa kwa wakati wa kwanza. I am going to forgive you. Mimi nakuja kuheshimu. Maybe you did not know 
labda hamkujua maybe you did not know the law of the land labda hamkujua sheria za nchi because you are foreigners kwa sababu nyinyi ni wageni wa nchi now because you have come to me lakini sasa kwa sababu mmekuja kwangu i have forgiven you the first mistake nimewasamea kwa makosa ya kwanza because the, the trumpet already sound has, has already sounded kwa sababu tarubeta imekusha kulia and everybody has already, has already bowed na kila mmoja aliweza kuinama but it has been reported to me lakini imeletwa kwangu that you Shadrach Meshach and Abednego kwamba nyinyi Shadrach Meshach na Abednego you did not obey that order nyinyi hamkuheshimu amri hiyo now the king is telling Shadrach Meshach and Abednego kwa hivyo mfalme anaambia Shadrach Meshach na Abednego we are going to repeat this, the same thing again tutarudia jambo hili mara tena we are going to dedicate this image again tutaenda kuleta sanamu hii mara tena because this image must work kwa sababu sanamu hii lazima ifanye kazi. This image must have power. Lazima sanamu hii ipate nguvu. And it cannot be hindered by you Shadrach, Meshach na and Abednego. Na hiyo zuiliwa na nyinyi Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. Because now you have defiled our dedication. Na kwa sababu nyinyi mweza tia na jinsi uh, uh, ibada yetu. The dedication of the image that we are making. Ya ibada ambayo tuliweza kuiweka kwa sababu ya picha hiyo. We are going to repeat again. Tutaenda kurudia mara tena. We are going to dedicate the image again. Tutaenda kuleta sanamu hii mara tena. Around. lakini wakati huu sasa when you hear the trumpet wakati mnaposikia tarumbeta all everybody should bow kila mmoja lazima iname including you daniel hasa hata pia nyinyi daniel i mean shadrach meshach and abednego shadrach meshach and abednego praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe and he, he asked them na aliwauliza if you do that kama mtafanya hivyo it is it will be well with you itakuwa vema kwenu if you bow before before the image kama mtaanumu mtaabudu mbele ya inamu sanamu hii that that will be very good of you itakuwa ni vema sana kwenu your first offense will be will be will, will be eliminated or will be de- dealt away with makosa yenu ya kwanza itamalizwa hapo praise the name of the lord Jina because nisibia. you have already broken the law kwa sababu mmekwisha kuvunja sheria but if now you you obey if now you you bow down to the image lakini sasa tukipiga tarubeta mkiinamia sanamu hii the first sin the first breaking of the law will, mako, will be forgiven to you ile makosa ya kwanza mliyoyafanya mtasamehewa but if you don't do that lakini kama hamtafanya hivyo now i want to uh, the king is telling chadrak meshach and abednego mfalme anawaambia shadrak meshach na abednego if you don't obey this time kama hamtaheshimu wakati huu if you don't fall, fall and worship kama hamtafuata hivyo muweze kuabudu this image sanamu hii there is a law kuna sheria in this land katika nchi hii and i have already signed this law na nimeweza kuitia kalamu sheria hii and this law says na sheria hii inasema that anybody who do not worship that image kwamba kila mtu ambaye haabudu ile sanamu will be cast into fire ye yeah, atatupwa katika moto in a burning furnace tanuru ya moto praise the name of the lord na and he is telling them na nawaambia hivi because i am the king kwa sababu mimi ni mfalme and i, I am the, uh, the one who has already signed na mimi ndiye yetia karamu sahihi and i have hiyo. declared na nimeweza kutangaza anybody who do not worship kama kila mtu ambaye haabudu will be we will be cast into that fire. Yes, atupo katika tanuru la moto. And I cannot change. Na siwezi badilisha. My decree cannot be changed. Amri yangu haiwezi badilishwa. So the king is asking them. Kwa hivyo mfalme anawauliza. He is like he is sympathizing with them. Ni kama anawahurumia. He is asking them. Anawauliza. Which god Jeni Mungu yupi will be able to to save you ataweza kuwaokoa praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe which god ni Mungu yupi will be able to save you ataweza kuwaokoa praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe but we are reading from verse 16 na tunasoma kutoka aya 16 this is shadrach meshach and abednego meshach and shadrach and abednego and they are answering this question na wanajibu swali hilo because the king is asking them kwa sababu mfalme anawauliza which god is able to save you ni mungu yupi atakaye waokoa because i have already made this, this decree kwa sababu nimeifanya kuwa hii sheria i have already signed it nimeweza kuitia sahihi and anybody who do not bow down na kila mtu ambaye asiyeabudu anybody who do not worship mtu yeyote asiyeuinamia the law says sheria inasema he will be cast into the lake of fire atatupwa katika tanuru la moto or in the burning furnace ama katika moto unaowaka praise the name of the lord na bwana lisifiwe but you can see shadrach meshach and abednego na utaona shadrach meshach na abednego and they are as answering this question to the king na wanajibu swali hii kwa mfalme from verse 16 kutoka aya ya 16 praise the name of the lord na bwana lisifiwe verse 16 the bible says aya ya 16 maandiko yanasema shadrach meshach and abednego shadrach meshach na abednego answered and said to the king wakajibu akamwambia mfalme o king nebukadinezar eh mfalme 
Nebuchadnezzar. We have no need to answer you in this matter. Hamna haja kukujibu katika neno hili. If that is the case, kama hivi ndivyo, our God whom we serve, Mungu wetu tunayemtumikia, is able to deliver us. Aweza kutuokoa from the burning fiery furnace. Na tanuri wakayo moto. And he will deliver us. Na pia ataweza kutuokoa. Praise the name of the Lord. Tena bwana lisifiwe. From your hand O king kutoka kwa mikono yako e mfalme But if not na bali kama si hivyo let it be known to you O king na ujue e mfalme that we do not serve your gods ya kuwa sisi hatutakubali kuitumikia miungu yako No we we worship the gold image wala kuisujudia sanamu hii ya dhahabu you have set up uliyoisimamisha Now this is an answer hii ni jibu that shows that completely these people are relying on God. Unaona kwamba watu hao walimtegemea Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. They are totally trusting on God. Wao wamejitoa kumwamini Mungu. Because already the law has been has been signed. Ni kwa sababu sheria imeweza kutiwa sahihi. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. And they are speaking to the highest person in the land. Na wanaongea kwa aliye mkuu sana katika nchi. They are speaking to the kings. Wanaongea kwa mfalme. And these people are just captives. Na watu hawa ni watumwa tu. They were taken as captives. Walichukua mateka. But uh, they has been they have been promoted. Na wamekuwa wakikuzwa. They have been given uh, uh, positions in the government. Na wamepewa vyeo katika serikali. So number one, these people. Sasa bora kwanza watu hawa. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They don't care whether they are going to be to be chased to, to be chased away from the job or hawajali, to be sacked. Hawajali kama watafutwa kazi. Because they are speaking to the king. Kwa sababu wanaongea na mfalme. And they are officials na sawa wamekuwa wakuu the king has given them offices mfalme ameweza kuwapea ofisi they are supervising as 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 some government offices wanaangalia kazi za ofisi katika serikali they are senior people wao ni watu wakuu they are answering the the, na, the king nao wanajibu mfalme when they compare the the job that they have wanapolinganisha kazi ambao wamepata and when they compare what the king is demanding them to do na wanapotazama kila mfalme anasema wafanye they are opting it is rather it is better for them to to be sacked waonelea kwamba ni vema hata wafutwe than to worship the idols kuliko kumwabudu sanamu so they are answering very confident kwa hivyo wanajibu kwa ujasiri and they are telling the king na wanamwambia mfalme listen you king sikiza e mfalme may you live forever na uishi milele and they are showing a respect to him wanaonyesha heshima kwake and they are telling them they, they are telling the king wanamwambia mfalme if this god that you're talking about kama huyu mungu tunayeongea kumuhusu they, they are starting by saying wanatangulia na kusema we don't need to answer you in this matter hatuhitaji kukujibu katika neno hili praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe because we may try to explain kwa sababu tuweza jaribu kujibu we may try to explain about our god that we worship tuweza jaribu kuelezea kumuhusu mungu tunayemwabudu and you, you worship idols na wewe waabudu sanamu so you don't know this god kwa hivyo waweza kosa kujua mungu so huyu so even if we try to explain kwa hivyo hata tukijaribu kuelezea who this god is to you huyu Mungu ni nani kwako? You cannot understand. Waweza kosa kuelewa. So we don't have we don't need to to answer uh, to you this ma- concerning hatu, this matter. Hatuhitaji kukujibu kwa neno hili. But that God that we 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 are talking about. Ni huyo Mungu tunayenena kumuhusu. If you throw us into the burning furnace, ukitutupa kwa moto unaowaka. The God that we serve. Mungu tunayemtumikia. Because it is important for you king to understand. Sababu ni vema mfalme uweze kuelewa. Even though we are in Babylon. Ingawa sisi tuko Babylon. Even though you took us as captives ingawa ulichukua mateka even though you defeated our land ingawa uliweza kushinda nchi yetu and you brought us here as captives na ukatuleta hapa tukiwa watumwa but understand this o king lakini elewa hili mfalme we do not worship your gods hatutaabudu miungu yako praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe in all words they are telling the king kwa maneno mengine wanamwambia mwambie mfalme your gods have eyes miungu yako ina macho but they do not see lakini hayaoni they have ears they now must hear but they cannot hear Listen. They have hands. Aina mikono. But they cannot work. Lakini haiwezi fanya kazi. Praise the name of the Lord. But they are telling the king. Na wanamwambia mfalme. The God whom we serve. Mungu ambaye tunayemtumikia. Is not a dead image. Yes, sio kitu kilichokufa. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. It cannot be compared. Haiwezi linganishwa. With this image that you have already elected. Na sanamu hii ambayo uliyoiweka. He is above. Yeye yako juu. He is the creator. Yeye ni mwumbaji. He is not the creature. Yeah, yeah, see him um 
Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know there is a very great difference between the creator and the creature? And that is why you cannot, you, you cannot put God in one side and the devil in the other side. And you try to compare them. Because God is the creator. But the devil is the creature. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, in other words, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They are telling the king what you have made, what you have already dedicated, and you have called every official in the land. You have called the governors. You have called the administrators. You have called the judges. You have called the counselors. You have called the, the treasurers and the magistrates whatever that you have done that image it is not alive that image it can save nobody that image is useless so we cannot bow so king, it is good for you to understand we can never bow to that image we don't worship your God that is what we are reading from verse 18 they, they are telling him but if not let me known to you O king that we do not serve your God no do we worship the gold image which you have set up praise the name of the Lord and this talks to us that you can have confidence in God. Praise the name of the Lord. If you trust in God, there are things that He can do for you. They are answering the king. We rely on this God. Although you cannot see this God in, in your eyes, but we, it, we, we totally rely on Him. We totally focus on Him. We totally wait on him because we know he is able to deliver us. If you put us in that furnace that you are talking about, it is good for you to understand O King that this God that we serve is not a dead God. And I want to declare to us this morning that the God that we serve is not a dead God. He is alive. And because he is alive, he is, a, he is able to visit us. He, he is able to change our story. He is able to help us. Only if we trust in him. So they are telling the king, we do not worship your, king, your gods. We don't know them. We only know about Jehovah. That is our creator. That is him who shall we, we shall worship. Praise the name of the Lord. And he has said in his word you should not worship any other God besides me. So we cannot worship this image. And they are telling the king if you want us to throw us into that fire that you are talking about we are ready to go to the fire. In other words, they are telling the king, if you tell us to choose between being thrown to the fire and worshipping your idol, we choose being uh, thrown into the fire. Because we know that our God, he is able to deliver us. And that is why I declare to us this morning, I don't know what you are passing through. But our God, He is able to deliver us. He is able to deliver us from diseases. He is able to deliver us from debts. He is able to deliver us from cases. Praise the name of the Lord. So they are telling the king, listen and listen very good. This God that we worship, He is the God of, of heaven. 
It is him we shall worship. It is him we shall bow to. Bow down to. But we cannot worship your idol. Because this God is able to, to, to deliver us from that fire that we are talking about. And they are also telling the king maybe this God that we believe in maybe he may may choose not to deliver us maybe he may choose that we may may die in the fire but they are telling the king if this God that we worship decides that we are going to to die in the fire that will be good because we shall go to him we are going to meet him if we die in the fire believing in him trusting in him putting our confidence in him there is no harm because there there is an inner man do you know there is the inner man who doesn't care about fire praise the name of the Lord the inner man who doesn't care about the accident the the inner man who doesn't care about diseases so they are telling the king if you are going to burn us you can only burn the outer man you can only burn the, 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 the body the outer person but there is an inner person and you have no authority to touch the inner person and I declare to us this morning that our inner person is going to grow stronger every day in our lives our inner person is going to grow healthy praise the name of the Lord because even when we shall leave this earth it is the inner man he shall leave the body and he shall meet our maker praise the name of the Lord so they are telling the king we don't we don't care if you're going to throw us into that fire and God chooses that he is not going to save us from your fire that doesn't matter because after all we are going to meet our maker praise the name of the Lord and the king became very angry the Bible says he became furious and I want you to to see it is the king dealing with captives praise the name of the Lord it is the king who is high, the highest in the land and he has taken people captives you know, when you are taken captive you, beca- you become a slave so in other words the king is arguing with the slaves praise the name of the Lord although he has already promoted them, but they, they, he, initially he had taken them as captives. So he is arguing with, with, the, with the captives. But these captives are very confident because they believe in God. Because they trust in God. And they are telling, them, they are telling the king if we die in your fire that doesn't matter we shall meet our maker but what we know is that our God because he is not dead he is alive he is not like your image your image is tall your image can be seen by people who are from far your image is made of gold but your image is dead. Your image cannot see. Your image cannot deliver anybody. Praise the name of the Lord. And the king became furious. And he ordered because now these people are despising him. They are admining admining his authority. Praise the name of the Lord. And he ordered and he said that 
that burning furnace I wanted to be to be heated seven times in other words I want to uh, he, he was he was telling his his, his, his servant I want that fire to be added seven times maybe if you have you had put uh, uh, for example one 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 ton of, of wood you you put it seven times so that the fire may become hotter praise the name of the Lord and the Bible has told us that this demand of the king the demand of the king was urgent the command it, it was urgent so his servants or, or the officials who maybe who had come to accuse Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego maybe they were the one who were given priority and they were told I will give you the positions because Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they have disobeyed me and I have already put them in power I have given them position in the government so if you tie them, if you buy them and you cast them into the lake of fire there shall be vacancies praise the name of the Lord maybe these people did hurry and they tied the Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they tied them their hands they tied them their, their foot praise the name of the Lord and because the order of the king was urgent they were moving very quickly and they threw Daniel I mean Shadrach they, they threw Shadrach Meshach and Abednego they threw them into the fire but the Bible is saying that fire was, was very hot and you can, you, you, the Bible is saying after they threw them the Bible says those people who are throwing Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego fire caught them it, it killed them before Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and I want to declare to you this morning that whatever the enemy had planned for you God is going to change it for better praise the name of the Lord these people who tied Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego the Bible says they were the first to burn and they died praise the name of the Lord maybe even there was no burial for them because the fire was very hot it was heated seven times praise the name of the Lord but the Bible says as Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego as they were thrown inside the fire a miracle happened there was a divine attention in heaven there was a divine attention praise the name of the Lord why the divine attention it is because Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they had already told, told the king our God that we serve he is a living God he is able to save us he is able to deliver us So God had to defend his Even name he cannot let his name to be ashamed by people who have really trusted in him because if you listen to these words of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they had only one choice either to die in the fire or God to save them because the other option they had already dealt away with it 
ameweza kuyashughulikia so god had, had, had to come kwa hivyo mungu angeweza kuja god had to intervene mungu angeweza kuingilia kati god had to pay divine attention mungu angeleta kumakinika kwa kiungu and immediately shadrach mishak and abednego na ghafla shadrach meshak na abednego they were thrown into the fire walitupwa katika moto already when they are being thrown pale walipotupwa their hands are tied mikono yao ilipokuwa imefungwa their foot are tied miguu yao ilikuwa imefungwa immediately lakini ghafla tu they are thrown in the fire walipotupwa katika moto it is only the ropes ni katika zile kamba tu which belongs to the, to the babylonians iliyokuwa ya wa babilonia it is only the ropes which burn ni zile kamba zilizochomeka praise the name of the lord jina la bwana it is only the ropes ni zile tu kamba because the bible says sababu maandiko yanasema they were already bound walikuwa wamefungwa as they were being thrown into the fire walipokuwa kitupo katika moto their hands were tied mikono yao ilikuwa imefungwa by the ropes from the babylon na mikamba ya wa babilonia their feet was tied were tied miguu zao zilifungwa by ropes from babylon na kamba za wa babilonia but when they they fell into the fire lakini walipoingia katika moto that fire was very selective uli moto ulikuwa wa kuchagua sana it could only burn the babylonian things ilichoma tu vitu za wa babilonia because god had already decided to come sababu mungu aliamua kuja in a divine attention katika hali yake ya kiungo praise the name of the lord na bwana alisifiwe and the bible says na maandiko yanasema when uh, when they were thrown wakati walipotupwa but be- before before that before we come to that kabla tufike hapa the, the fire is heated seven times wakati ule moto uliongezwa mara saba and do you know na unajua that seven represent the number of god kwamba mara saba inasimamia nambari ya mungu praise the name of the lord jina la bwana alisifiwe it, re- it re- represents inasimamia the completeness of god hali ya ukamilifu wa praise mungu praise the name of jesus jina la bwana alisifiwe so in other words kwa maneno mengine when the king was 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 ordering wakati mfalme alikuwa na amuru fire to be added moto uongezwe he was opening the the, the, the heavenly number alikuwa anafungua nambari ya mbinguni without knowing bila ya kujua maybe if he said five times labda angesema mara tano maybe if it would have not worked labda hangefanya kazi but he said seven times lakini aliposema mara saba is the number of god saba ni nambari ya mungu god created the heaven in in six days mungu aliumba ulimwengu kwa siku saba and on the seventh day he rested siku ya saba alipumzika praise the name of the lord jina la bwana alisifiwe it is his number hiyo ni nambari yake praise the name of jesus jina la bwana alisifiwe so it uh, when when the king was demanding wakati mfalme alikuwa anaamuru and the fire to be added moto ukaweza kuongezwa he was uh, he was opening the number of god alikuwa anafungua nambari ya mungu he was opening the code of god alikuwa anafungua nambari He was opening the seal of God. Alikuwa anafungua muhuri wa Mungu. Bila ya kujua. And this is what the, 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 the enemy does. Na hivi ndivyo adui anavyofanya. The enemy can only take you to your blessing. Adui anaweza kukupeleka tu kwa baraka zako. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina Bwana alisifiwe. It is true the enemy can chase you. Ni kweli adui anaweza kukufukuza. It is true the enemy can follow you. Ni kweli adui anaweza kukufuata. But where he can he, he can leave you at. Lakini pahali ambapo anaweza kukuachia. It's only to your to your blessing. Ni katika tu baraka is honor to your success ni katika hali ya kufaulu kwako without not knowing bila ya kujua the king is unlocking mfalme anafungua the heavenly number nambari ya mbinguni because of his anger kwa sababu ya kugadhabika kwake by hitting the fire seven times ya kuongeza moto mara saba but he is unlocking the heavenly number anafungua nambari ya mbinguni praise the name of the lord jina la bwana alisifiwe and i declare to us this morning that the heavenly number is opening for us na nambari ya mbinguni yatufungulia when the heavenly number opens na bali ya mbinguni ikitufungulia we shall walk in victory tutatembea katika ushindi when the heavenly number opens na bali ya mbinguni ikitufungulia we shall walk in power tutatembea katika uwezo we shall walk in glory tutatembea katika utukufu in the name of jesus jina la bwana alisifiwe now when shadrak mishak and abednego wakati shadrak mishak na abednego when they are in the fire wakati walikuwa katika moto and fire has burned na moto umechoma the only ropes from babylon zile kamba za wa babilonia and that is why i want to say na hiyo ndipo sana napenda niseme that what the, when the enemy me chases you kwamba wakati adui anapokukimbiza the way uh, the only thing he can harm kile kitu tu anaweza kukidhuru are the things from babylon ni vitu tu za wa babilonia praise the name of the lord jina la bwana alisifiwe when we talk about the babylon tunaponena kuhusu babilonia we are talking about the the, the world things tunanena kuhusu mambo ya kimwili we are talking about the kind of things tunanena kuhusu mambo ya dunia hii praise the name of jesus jina la bwana alisifiwe so if the fire can burn you kwa hivyo moto kama unaweza kuchoma it can only burn the impurities inaweza kuch 
Praise the name of Jesus. If the fire of God, if the fire can burn you, it can only burn the impurities. And I declare today in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God burn. Let it burn every impurity in our lives. Let it burn the evil characters in our lives. Let we remain holy. Praise the name of Jesus. I see four men lose walking in the midst of fire and they are not hurt and the form of the fall is like the son of God now the king is sitting he is celebrating because he wants Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to, to be killed he is sitting on his throne and he wants to enjoy Seeing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego crying in the fire, saying, Somebody help me. Maybe saying, King, we shall obey you. If you want us to come out of the fire, we are going to, to, to obey you. Maybe that is what the king thought. He is sitting comfortably. It's like he is watching a TV. You know, when you are watching a TV, TV sometimes entertain you. Because so the king is sitting in his throne very comfortably. And he is looking at the fire. But the Bible says he was astonished because he thought that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego they are already dead. But he saw instead of them sleeping or falling on the fire he sees them walking and it's like they are enjoying the fire it's like they are praising God it's like they are saying they are saying to one another let us live with, in this God let us worship this God this God is able to deliver Shadrach, Shadrach is telling Abednego can you see what God can do our God is great. Can we celebrate to God? Maybe they started worshiping. Maybe they started saying, Our God is holy. Our God is mighty. They started to celebrate. Praise the name of the Lord. But as the king is looking, he is seeing the fourth person. And he is declaring himself. He is saying, and he is asking, he is calling his counselors to come. And he is telling them, I thought we, 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 we threw three people. And the names of these three people is Shadrach, Meshach, Mesheki, and Abednego. And I'm trying to count. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. There seems to be a fourth person. Or maybe I'm doing a mistake. Let I'm, me start from I'm the middle. Three. Three. Four. Four. Two. Two. One. One. Maybe he is telling the, his, his counselors. Can you help me to count? Because it's like a, I, I, I can't see them see clearly. And when they counted, they saw for sure there was the fourth person. And the king is declaring this fourth person looks his form is like the son of God. I declare to us this morning there shall be the fourth person. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the fourth person in the fire. And maybe Jesus was saying it is good that you have thrown Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And God has paid attention. He has sent me to come and deliver them. And maybe Jesus is 
King Nebuchadnezzar When Nebuchadnezzar Is there any other person Who is faithful Who is trusting God Like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego I am waiting Are you ready to throw somebody else Who is, who is faithful and true Because I am able to deliver him Praise the name of the Lord I declare to us this morning here is the fourth person Whatever that we shall be going through In this year It doesn't matter From which direction it has come But I stand in this altar And I declare The fourth person I declare The fourth person The fourth person His name is Jesus The fourth person Is able to deliver The fourth person is able to live the fourth person is able to save I declare to us this morning the fourth person the fourth person his name is Jesus praise the name of the Lord when the fourth person appears when the fourth person appears our story changes praise the name of the Lord he changes the news of the day maybe the media people had come learning to, to, to report maybe they were putting it live in the TV praise the name of the Lord but when, when the fourth person appears he changes the story and the story when it was changed is that there was, uh, there was three people who totally obeyed God who, who, totally, obeyed God, who, who totally relied on him who totally believed in God and they did not doubt and their names are Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and they were cast into the fire but instead of them burning the fire there, 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 there was a fourth person who came to deliver them praise the name of the Lord the fourth person is, is able to change our story that is what people saw you and I want to declare because the Bible says it is the same eyes that saw Shadrach Meshach and Abednego the same eyes they saw them tied they saw them being thrown into the, into the fire but the same eyes they saw Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and they are coming out from the fire and harmed praise the name of the Lord the same eyes that show, saw you getting into challenges the same eyes that saw you frustrated the same eyes that saw you when you are down I declare today in the name of Jesus they are the same eyes that are going to see you in your promotion in your glory in your victory in your health praise the name of Jesus the same eyes that show you defeated are the same eyes that are going to see you walking in victory walking in power walking in glory because the fourth person changes the story may your story change in the name of Jesus may the fourth person in, the, in this year may he, may he change your story praise the name of the Lord the story of Shadrach Meshach and Abednego it was a story that, that looked evil that looked sorrowful but it later changed because even the king later he declared and he said it is only the God of Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego it is only whom who can be worshipped it is only he who has power and he declared himself that even the image that he had already made it was powerless all the, all the other gods they are the works 
of men. Praise the name of Jesus. All the other gods. They, are, they have ears. They cannot listen. They have mouth. They cannot, they cannot talk. They have eyes. They cannot see. All the other gods. They are the works of men. But we have Jehovah. We have Jehovah. Who changes our story. And I declare today. Because we believe in this Jehovah, our story is changing. In this year, our story is changing. That is what people saw you. But I declare to you today the same, the same eyes that saw you defeated are the very same eyes that are going to see you in victory in the name of Jesus.